Ibinida ng iba't ibang ahensya ng pamahalaan ang kanilang mga hakbang para mas mapalagu pa ang ekonomiya ng bansa. Tuloy-tuloy rin ah, nila ang kanilang mga programa at proyekto para labanan ang iba't ibang hamon na kinakaharap ng bansa tulad ng inflation. May report si Kenneth Pasyente. Tiniyak ng ilang miyembro ng gabinete na patuloy ang hakbang ng pamahalaan para mas mapataas pa ang ekonomiya ng bansa. Ayon kay Department of Finance Secretary Benjamin Diokno, mas palalakasin pa ng ahensya ang kanilang priority measures, kabilang na ang Real Property Valuation and Assessment Reform, Passive Income and Financial Intermediaries Taxation at pagkakaroon ng VAT sa digital services. Binabantayan rin anya ng pamahalaan ang hamon ng inflation sa bansa. The Interagency Committee on Inflation and Market Outlook remains vigilant against emerging supply shocks in the market to ensure timely and well-grounded policy recommendations on mitigating inflationary pressures. Despite external risk and domestic challenges, the Philippines remains to be one of the brightest spots in the region. In fact, the World Bank expects the Philippines to outpace its East Asia and Pacific peers this 2023 at 5.6%. Sinabi naman ni DOTR Secretary Jaime Bautista na on track ang mga infrastructure projects ng kasalukuyang administrasyon, lalo na ang mga transportation at road projects. Bagaman nagkaroon ng kaunting aberya matapos bawiin ng China ang pagpondo sa tatlong proyekto, tiwalaan niya ang pamahalaan na makahanap ito ng panibagong investor para rito. Uh, itong tatlong railway project na to can be financed by uh, either ODA, no? uh, public-private partnership, or uh, from uh, government funds. No? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're looking at uh, all those two, three sources no? as uh, possible uh, financing for these projects. Ay uh, magkakaroon to ng tinatawag na chains of cost no? dahil uh, itong project na to ay project pa ng... Uh, uh, nakaraang gobyerno, mata, uh, meron ng approved uh, cost, no? pero tingin ko ay uh, magkakaroon to ng uh, additional cost because of the delay, no? uh, because of an increase in uh, cost of uh, materials, no? cost of labor, no? so kailangan i-update natin yan. Ang NEDA naman ay tiniyak na mas pabibilisin pa ang proseso para sa ibang infrastructure flagship projects ng pamahalaan. To make it uh, easy and uh, to facilitate investment in these projects, we have uh, improved the processing time. Uh, as I was able to present uh, earlier, the processing time so far has been uh, half the time it is uh, required uh, or prescribed under the new uh, program. So under 40 days lahat ang, uh, ang, uh, ang approval process na nagawa natin. Habang ang DTI magpapatuloy sa panghihikayat ng mga posibleng investor na mamuhunan sa bansa, kasabay ang pagpapatupad ng kanilang key pillars kabilang ang industry development, trade promotion at investment attraction. Our investment promotion missions, many of them led by our own president, President Marcos Jr., to selected foreign countries supported by our Foreign Trade Investment Service Corps in uh, various countries as well, enable us to explain to prospective investors abroad the value proposition of the Philippines as an ideal investment hub. This value proposition consists of our strategic location, young and highly trainable workforce, abundant natural resources, large domestic market, and market access to regional, to regional markets uh, in uh, East Asia and, uh, and, and, and uh, the RCEP region. Sinabi naman ni DBM Secretary Amina Pangandaman na pinapaspasan na nila ang pagpapatupad ng structural reforms para sa tapat at epektibong public service. Titiyakin din anya ng gobyerno ang kaaya-ayang business environment para hindi lamang mapalago, kundi para mapanatili rin ang ekonomiya. We will likewise leverage digitalization and innovation to make public procurement more efficient and transparent through our modernized Philippine government electronic procurement system. Habang ang Environment Department tutulong sa paglago ng bansa sa pamamagitan ng pagtugon sa mga hamong pangkalikasan, gaya na lamang ng climate change. As our climate change societies are changing too, in our context, we have an increasing urban, digitally driven, and consumer-led growth. 
yet our natural resources development and agricultural and fishery sector, as well as the environmental protection needed to sustain our society and our economy are lagging behind. This is what this administration is facing uh, today, and as we are fortunate, in fact, to have a president that understands the inextricable link between climate, biodiversity, and sustainable development. Kenneth Pasyente, para sa morning show ng Bayan, Rise and Shine, Pilipinas.